Okay, a quick look at a couple of common mistakes that people make when differentiating logarithms or the natural logarithm with the chain rule. So first of all, for review, if y is equal to natural log x, then the derivative of y with respect to x is 1 over x. Likewise, if y is equal to natural log z, then the derivative of y with respect to z is 1 over z. So whenever you're differentiating with respect to this argument right here, you just get 1 over the argument. But if you have y is equal to log of u, where u itself is a function of x, then the derivative of y with respect to x is 1 over u. That part's the same. But then by the chain rule, you have to differentiate u, so du dx. So it all depends on what you're differentiating with respect to. Now, when you look at these things right here, it's just notation for that represents the way we think when it comes to taking derivatives of logarithms and applying the chain rule. So you want to work enough problems so that this describes your thought process. You're in line with this. Now, when I look at this right here, it might look different than these two right here, but it really doesn't. It's really all the chain rule. So if I wanted to right here, dy dz is 1 over z times the derivative of z with respect to z. And that's just 1, so we don't see it. Likewise, up here, the derivative of y with respect to x is 1 over x times the derivative of the argument x with respect to the thing we're differentiating with respect to, which is x. And again, dx dx is just 1. So in fact, really, these all look exactly the same, and they describe the way you want to work when it comes to working with logarithms. So let's apply it to this simple problem right here. If f of x is equal to natural log 2x minus 7, so f prime of x, I want to differentiate this with respect to x. OK, so according to my chain rule, I have natural log of some function of x, natural log of u. That's all you have to see is that that looks like u. Then the derivative is going to be 1 over 2x minus 7 times the derivative of 2x minus 7, which is 2. So that whole thing comes out to be 2 over 2x minus 7, and that's the derivative of f with respect to x. So when I uh, give a quiz or a test on problems like this in class, what do I look for as far as common mistakes go? First most common mistake would be this. f prime of x would be equal to 1 over 2x minus 7, and then no derivative of u with respect to x. So they leave out the second part. I don't see that too. The second most common mistake, so I'll just say this is one. Two, the second most common mistake is to misinterpret this and do both of these things at once. So when I see that mistake, it looks like this. f prime of x equals one over the derivative of two x minus seven, which is two, right? So here, the person that does this kind of combines these two things together and gets this. But doing derivatives like this is not doing derivatives the way they're described right here. This is a description of the way you want to operate when it comes to derivatives. So f of x is equal to log of u. The derivative with respect to x is 1 over u times du dx. So that's the important part right here and shows that you understand how the chain rule works with derivatives of natural logarithm functions.